This session is about waterfalls, um, two very famous ones, the Niagara Falls, which is between the USA and Canada, and the Victoria Falls, which is between Zambia and Zimbabwe in Africa. Now, all a waterfall is, is where river water falls over a drop. That is it. But this session will be looking at why that happens. A waterfall is formed by a river flowing over firstly hard rock and then soft rock. So this area with the crosses in is the hard rock, the bit with the lines in is the soft rock, and here comes my river. So the river is flowing over the hard rock, then the soft rock. It will erode the soft rock quicker than it erodes the hard rock, and it'll erode it through the processes of hydraulic action and abrasion. So if we were to come back to this scene, um, maybe in a few hundred years time, um, it would look very different. So here is the scene in a few hundred years time. Now the river flows over the hard rock and it has to fall over the drop or over the ledge um, into uh, what we call the plunge pool and then the river continues to flow downstream. Now it's at this stage um, where the hard rock starts to be undercut and it's because where the water lands into the river here in the plunge pool um, the energy would be transmitted forwards, the energy of the water landing will be transmitted downwards and it will be transmitted backwards. Also water splashes backwards as it lands in the plunge pool and what this does is it erodes this part here underneath the hard rock, undercutting it. So if we come back years and years time, it will have been undercut here by the water splashing back and eroding underneath the hard rock. And then the whole of the plunge pool will have been made a lot deeper because of downwards erosion. So what we've got now is we've got quite a deep plunge pool. Um, the hard rock here is, has been left overhanging as the soft rock has been undercut underneath it through the processes of hydraulic action and abrasion. And if this continues to be undercut like so over the years, eventually the hard rock will be left totally unsupported and the whole lot might collapse and fall into the river because there's nothing underneath to support it. At this stage, the hard rock will snap off about here and fall into our river. Here's the bits of hard rock which will eventually be carried on further downstream. Now the whole waterfall has moved back a few meters and now the river is plunging over the drop here which is a few meters further back than when it was. So if we go even further into the future, the plunge pool will be made deeper and the hard rock will be eroded and undercut underneath the soft rock. Eventually um, the hard rock will fall in because it has no support and our whole waterfall retreats. It moves backwards, leaving behind it a valley which is called a gorge. So let us summarize what we've just learnt. A river passes over hard rock and then soft rock. The soft rock erodes away quicker due to hydraulic action and abrasion and this leaves a drop the water can fall over. So the river water falls over the drop and lands in the plunge pool and as it does so it splashes backwards eroding the soft rock under the hard rock and this leaves the hard rock sticking out unsupported. The hard rock then collapses and then the whole waterfall moves backwards, leaving a valley which is called a gorge.